We all know about Order 66 in Star Wars, but given that this is Order number 66, that implies there are at least 65 more of these orders out there, ready to be issued to the Republic's clone army. So exactly how many orders were there? What were they, and was there an Order 69? Yes there was, but get your head out the gutter, because today we'll be looking at the Republic clone army's contingency orders, examining the ones we know about, and exploring why Order 65 could have been disastrous for this galaxy far, far away. Way. These orders or the contingency orders for the Grand Army of the Republic, to give them their full and proper name, were a series of different orders and protocols that would be carried out by the Galactic Republic's clone army if certain circumstances were to arise. And if any clones were to disobey one of these orders, they would be instantly stripped of their rank and submitted for execution. In total there were 150 contingency orders and they tended to focus on utilising the Grand Army of the Republic to maintain order and control within the galaxy under extreme circumstances. We only hear info about a few of these orders specifically however, and what details we do have come from pre-Disney sources, so the rest of this video will be focused primarily on Star Wars Legends canon. And to kick us off, we're starting with Order 4, which states that in the event of the Chancellor's incapacitation, overall command command of the Republic's forces would fall to the Vice Chair of the Senate, which during the Clone Wars was the big blue guy that likes to yell out ORDER! The Changrian Masameda. The Vice Chair would then be relieved of command once a new Chancellor or alternative Supreme Commander of the military had been selected. I feel like this order could have been executed during the opening events of Revenge of the Sith as whilst Chancellor Palpatine was held prisoner aboard the Invisible Hand, he would have been deemed incapacitated, so you'd assume Mazameda would have taken control as Acting Chancellor. Contingency Order 5 also focuses on the Republic military's command structure, however Order 5 is triggered following the Chancellor being declared unfit or incapable of remaining in office. Presumably this is done via a vote of no confidence in the Senate, where if a majority of the Senate deem the Chancellor unfit for office, he will be deposed. The Chief of Defence Staff would then take command of the military, form a command structure of senior Republic officers, and await the election of a new Chancellor by the Galactic Senate. Unlike the previously mentioned orders, Order Number 37 does not revolve around the command of the military. No, it's much more horrifying. This order is issued when a high-value target or group are being hidden on a planet. Once triggered, Republic forces will begin arresting civilians and threatening mass executions should the local populace not turn over the wanted individuals. This order has actually been executed twice, once on the planet Belassa and another on the planet Rosha. Both of these events took place shortly after Chancellor Palpatine's declaration of a new order, which began the Republic's transition into a new, more sinister galactic empire. Order 37 also contains a grisly follow-up directive to do with the disposal of the bodies of an executed populace. Troops are ordered not to release the bodies of those executed to their families, shut down all holonet communications for the next month, and not release any reports or accounts of the events. So yeah, it's pretty grim. Now Order 65 is a pretty big one, as it's kind of the direct opposite of Order 66. Rather than having the clone army turn on and execute their Jedi commanders, Order 65 commands the Grand Army of the Republic to detain the Chancellor, using lethal force if necessary. This order is triggered if either a majority of the Senate or the Security Council deem the Chancellor to be acting against the interests of the Republic. Once the Chancellor has been deposed, command of the military will fall to the acting Chancellor until a new democratically elected replacement can be found. This sounds like a more extreme version of the previously mentioned Order 5, but instead of the Chancellor being deemed simply unfit for office, they are instead deemed a traitor, and troops are permitted to arrest the former Commander-in-Chief. Even if this order were to be issued, which is unlikely due to old Palpatine having a pretty tight hold over the Senate and Security Council, the clone's orders could probably be overrided via the Sith-controlled inhibitor chips. Palpatine would then need to send the clones out to brutally pacify the citizens of the Republic, which in this scenario would likely be rebelling against their tyrannical new Emperor. Or maybe the inhibitor chips don't allow Palpy to override a previously issued order. There's no definitive answer out there that I could find. In which case, the clones arrest Palpatine and the Republic lives happily ever after. What do you think would happen? Other than the orders we've already mentioned, there's a couple of other unnumbered or bonus orders that we know of. For example, there's an unnamed contingency protocol we hear mentioned in the Order 66 Republic Commando novel, and it involves assaulting and reducing key allied worlds to slag if they switch to the Separatist side. There's 
is an Order 99, which isn't technically part of the Republic's contingency orders, as it was a directive programmed into some of the Separatist droid army. When activated, Order 99 would switch a battle droid's allegiance mid-battle. This was done by Sidious and Count Dooku to act as a precursor test for Order 66. And finally, after the rise of the Empire, a new Order 151 was implemented into the remaining clones within the Imperial Army. This contingency order, if triggered, would command troops to eliminate the Emperor's apprentice, Darth Vader, should the need arise. Vader had suspicions as to the existence of this order, and he gained confirmation of its existence when questioning Clone Commander Vil. Vil, however, was thereafter dispatched by Vader, as to not alert the Emperor to Vader's knowledge of Order 151. What do you think some of the other contingency orders were? Let me know your your theories down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more lore, and follow our socials via the link in the description. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.